Oh, okay. Yeah, we were trying to guess who Mysterica would go. We know that she's known for the Zelda, but especially because, like, Mysterica's combo, her true main got n really buffed, yes. and then the side Palu got, got nerfed, so it's like, all right, you're going to see more Zelda. But maybe it's a matchup thing. I'm not really sure. Maybe you just want be. speed against Hero, which would make sense to me. So see what Mysterica can pull out here in game one. If Mysterica did her homework, you have to figure out which of those characters that Goma's going to go, and when you don't know, just go Palu. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true, actually. But That's we're going to be playing game one here on Pokemon Stadium, and I kind of like that for Hero because it's going to give him a little bit more space as long as he can get out of these nares. It's just like, because any more time you have to, you know, do some reading, catching up on your down bees, uh, anything that you can do to kind of get yourself those buffs. But uh, he needs oh. something right now to get around this. Only 11% so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Mysterica is just doing a great job positioning for the disadvantage and then capitalizing not overstaying her welcome anywhere, not rushing in or giving up the positioning. Very nice job by Mysterica. You see the mobility of uh, the Palutena coming in big time against this hero. It makes a lot of sense. The speed is helping so much because, like, I feel like Goma keeps trying to pull up this command menu every now and then, but he hasn't gotten off one successful spell yet. But honestly, if Mysterica was playing Zelda, I feel like that would be a different story. But yeah. the speed, she's keeping up so much pressure on him as well. He can't do anything right now. That's right. Now, oh, okay, you know what? Bounce is a good idea. Oh, the yeah. kaboom. Try to catch Viserica off guard. Cannot, though. There you go. Okay, There's the, the bounce. bounce. It's going to give him a little bit of safety time. Also, it's going to be a time for him to potentially get more command selection so he can get a buff. Ooh. Because the right buff will put Kalatana at kill percent. What kill percent, though? Goma was at kill percent. That's ridiculous. Goma looking for the zoom off stage. The increased percent chance to find it out there. Didn't happen, though. Unfortunate. That's the thing about Hero. Like, so much RNG in the character. But it can, and a lot of people talk about, you know, crits or the good things that Hero can get. Definitely can get, you know, a little screwed over by it at times, too. I do want to see how Mysterica's going to go for edge guard situations against Goma because, like, his Ooh. up is not the biggest. But honestly, that was the first time Mysterica had a chance to go for an edge guard because she's been otherwise just completely Ooh. commanding him. But a command menu will take it out for Goma instead. It's so crazy how the menu can give you natural mix ups because there was a snooze and a flame slash right next to each other. Yeah. Obviously, you know, the flame slash is a lot quicker. So if you see snooze, it's like a very slow traveling projectile. Both will kill you at that percentage. Yes. So he was floating over the snooze and just switched the, <laughs> the pick the flame. That was amazing. Well uh, played. Reading comprehension mind games <laughs> are the play right now. Yeah, Goma's got a good SAT score, that's for sure. At least the English <laughs> part, that's for sure. My math was great, so it's hard for me to keep up right now. <laughs> Not my English, but uh... <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, okay, Goma's fighting back into this one. Oh god. He needs to find some heals though if he wants to stay into this game one life right now because mysterica has got him on the ledge. How can he get off? He does with a forward air, keeping him healthy in terms of MP, but not as much HP though. Ooh, a brave parry. And the cool thing about parrying that, look how it got rid of the psych up too. Nice True. job by Mysterica. Great, and that's such a bold parry, too. You miss that, you are so dead. Oh, yeah. The dash attack is going to KO off the top, though. Well done to Mysterica taking that one down. Easy pickup. Yeah, two. Uh, and, however, Goma, Goma does have a million characters, so I wouldn't yes. be surprised to see a different one. But the hero was kind of catching uh, a little momentum there, so it could go either way. This is and true. That's the life of maining more than one character. You always are stuck thinking, it's not just about stage, it's like, which character do I go to? I have so many choices. It's gonna be hero again, okay. Not just stage, not just character, but the combination of the two, like your permutations there are off the charts. Looks like we're gonna be sticking with the hero, keeping up the reading comprehension. You know, he got it ready. Like, it's like, a, it's like a quiz in itself, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta be prepared for it, but... Oh, what? He's trying to pull up the test now because he's already opening up super explosive, like catching Mysterica off guard with that opening, but uh, she doesn't care. Nair's Ooh. power happening with a great reverse Nair oh, oh into double God. up air into 61% total. That, what was it? What? 61%? Try 86 now into an edge guard. Go get up attack too. Oh my god, catching with the other side of that. This thing, like, Hero doesn't have great frame data. Once the hits are out, they're really good. Yes. Especially <laughs> really strong hits. Uh huh. Woo! There you go, looking for the side. That was missing a little bit. I think it's because Palu is very airborne, so yeah. it's like you don't really want us to be swinging that side B on the ground to cover that because she's not really going to be running at you. Yeah. He keeps trying to use. I don't think he's hit like a single thunder yet. Ooh. Hold on. Nice. I like how Mysterica just dipped out of that situation. Yeah. Identified that it wasn't a good spot to be in against the Sortie, and just backed off. Nice job. She hasn't played too much of a defensive game like in that Woo! game one, which is fine because her offense has been unreal right now. But on a bigger stage like this, where Goma is like any kind of like breathing room, he'll take it instantly. But I like that Mysterica playing that defensive game is like playing super safe and isn't really losing much of like a progress while doing so. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. And now we see. Oh, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> that is how you turn around an edge guard. Serica fixing her hair a little bit. She's like, all right, all right, you got that one. You got that one. I was ready for a Palutena up air there, but Gumbo was ready for his own down air. I heard the sound effect. And I was like, wait, that doesn't line up. I was looking at the wrong character. I was like, a hero is not ready to, to strike, but Gomo was. Okay. We sell the rattle. Yep. Gonna give himself a little bit more like ability to kind of just weave in and out, but uh, as long as he keeps putting up a nair, it's gonna be hard to get in regardless of what. Ooh. Oh, I love these follow-ups <laughs> off of the tiny uppy. Nice job, not charging it, using it as a, a quick get off me option, then following up too. Goma looking like a brand new player in this game. Another thing he's been doing is pulling up the menu and then not yeah. doing anything with it to bait Mysterica in. He'll just drop it and he'll attack. It's really smart. You gotta think, because of the way the command menu works and everything, he should be like up B basically out of it, which is how he's picking up these quick up Bs and the aerial moves on these platforms on Town and City. Great way to utilize that with the stage. Goma now psyched up. He's ready to go. He's ready to take this Palu stock. Viserica gonna play extra careful. Yep. That's the thing is like, I kind of think of hero. Oh, the up tilt, good catch in the air. Nice positioning by Goma. You gotta be careful, you don't become too tunnel vision when you have those buffs, but he stayed calm and collected and he found the move he needed to end her stock immediately while he had the buff. There we go. Look at the movement that he gets in that green mode too. Oh my goodness. Really, truly accelerating, you know? And he, he needs to be careful though, because his MP's looking a little low, so like one or two more spells, he's gonna be out. So he needs to find hits now to get more MP back. He's gonna chill and just let it come back, I think, a little naturally. Yeah. And not only that, he's got the lead. There's no reason to go charging in at Palo Tena recklessly at this True. point. I'm surprised we haven't seen much of his neutral B, like his frizz spells being like charged up there, but also I'm sure he's worried about Palutena's down B and that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Even using it though, I agree with you because even using it, Ooh, perhaps a little bit really of a... Not <laughs> sure what happened there. A little bit of a flub, but uh, oh, oh, he gets the bounce that right dude, in time. Dude, he looked like Frieza. <laughs> he was just shooting, he was charging and shooting energy at the same time, the purple energy. That looks so cool. Yes. I have <laughs> never seen, and that was so smart because he knew uh, selecting the buff wouldn't get him punished because he had the bounce on. Wow, oh, okay, I like Goma's coming to life with the menu, so smart. I haven't been playing too much fighters yet, but doesn't like that new uh, to change in season three have like your key charge, does reflect projectiles now that almost like looked like that with Goma, but he needs to look like a way to recover, which he does successfully, Ooh. but the downer won't take it as much as he wanted, but I love the escaping to the top platform. It's a bait too, he wants Viserica to go up there and fight, and she's saying, okay, I'll do that for sure. Here we go, dash attack two, Viserica in a good position here. Goma's been good at fighting out of disadvantage in this game, too, but can he do it one last? Oh, no! But being up in the air is going to keep him in disadvantage, which is going to be tough because she's going to be, like, sharking out right now for a kill option because where did that lead go, Hasma? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. What I, lead? I, he had it at one point. Hold on, here we go. Going to go low. Easy two frame, but he goes so far oh. out. Goma on these platforms, you can see. Oh, my! He really, oh. really <laughs> tried it. He really tried it. Are you cheering for that, Detroit? What is wrong with you? I'm cheering for that. I wouldn't have <laughs> seen it happen because at 50%, the percentage chance would have been insane. I would have I would have had to walk off. I would have needed a minute. That Nair scooping. Uh, Had 7.0, baby, let's go! But, <laughs> is there, wow, he went off to the side too. Okay, yep, see you later. I can't believe he went for the instant KO there. Insanity. Imagine this place would have gone bonkers. Look how packed this is. You can feel how warm it is.